and they fixed the uh, streaming on this game. So uh, I actually was the one that uh, the devs had no idea that the streaming had not been re-enabled. Um, I was the one that when I put that stream up last time notified them, so they fixed it for us. So now we can actually stream the game. Uh, I have not had a chance to play a whole lot, which is why we've not had the full review up yet. Um, but I'm glad that it's fixed, and I got a little time this afternoon. So you know what? Let's stream in a little Bravo team. Let's see if we can find a co-op partner. Go online. All right, what's up, Jonathan? Start co-op game. I always go rookie for the heck of it. Select a chapter. I'm just gonna go on the chapter I was at. If it'll load up, it's loading right now, I believe. All right, bridge. We'll hop all over the bridge. What up, C. Anderson? <laughs> but -na -na. waiting for player. We'll wait for a sec. We'll see. We can get somebody. If not, ah, we'll see what happens. Ashka, but uh, but uh, but uh, though. Apparently, this game is really disappointing. Is it? Really? It's not as disappointing as a lot of people are making it out to be. Especially if you get it with the AIM bundle, because then it's only like a twenty dollar game. Um, it uh, Farpoint was a better AIM bundle game, but and we'll play a single player, I guess, for right now. Farpoint was a better aim bundle game, but this one is not as terrible. You guys will see. It's not as terrible as anybody who knows. But no, 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 I, I got you, homie. Don't worry. I was actually going to buy this about an hour ago, but I've seen... You can watch the gameplay. You know, we'll go through it. We'll go through it. I'll show you guys what people are hating on and what they have an issue with, and you guys can decide for yourself entirely. Please, please, please. But always decide for yourself. I don't think it's that terrible, but a lot of people do. Whoops. Whoops. Ding, 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 ding. All right, so it's, it is damn fun with the move controller. Uh, Knockout League is a very, like, intense, like, like you're playing, like, you, you got to get your hands on that one with Knockout League. And click. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's the, it's an arcade shooter. It's like an extended time crisis with a little bit of story in it, and there's no free locomotion. It, it is an arcade game, 100%. But it's not a bad arcade game if you accept it for that. You know what I mean? But if you want, if you're looking for something else, then you're right. No, it's just an arcade shooter. You know what I mean? And it's a good one. I mean, aiming down the aim's fun. The the sizing's a little awkward. I feel like I'm like a giant arms and everything. But it's not terrible. That's fun. I like shooting guns. You can switch the aim modes. Yeah, sprint factor's awesome. And you can move. See, there's the issue people have with. So when I'm moving to cover, it's not like a, a VR movement to cover. You know what I mean? It's like a, uh, it's like that weird third person movement to cover, which I've seen in a handful of games, actually, you guys. Like, it's not like a brand new system, and I, I think to a degree it's to, like, make, like they said, VR sickness so people don't get sick. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not the worst thing on Earth. I think there's four guns when you play all the way through. Um, right now we just have this and, like, a sidearm unlock. There's no real reason for me to use the sidearm. And I can actually, like, tell that dude where to go with, like, my directional buttons, too. Which is nice, but I'm not doing that. Hold on. Uh, I don't, doesn't look that, exactly. It's not that bad. A lot of people are just hating on it because they don't. They wanted to like, they wanted that free movement from spot to spot. But really, it's it's pretty cool cover. All right, and see, this is how you get gamma. Exactly. It should be free moving, but that would that would kill the the kind of gameplay that they're going for. You know what I mean? Like they were going for kind of like a more tactical position to position based gameplay, um, but. People want free movement. If you had free movement, I don't think people would play as many of the positions. They would just rush straight in. You know what I mean? Guns a blazing, which is fine, um, but that's just, I don't think, the game they were trying to make. Which is that point where it's like, are we making the game that we're trying to make, or are we making the game that the people want to play, that some majority of people want to play? Because I have a feeling a lot, I mean, the reviews on the PlayStation Store are not that terrible for this game, so there are people that are really enjoying this, which is, I mean, it could be their game. That's what they wanted. That's what they were looking forward to. They wanted some cool, like, extended time crisis feeling, because, I mean, I can duck, you know what I mean? I can dodge, I can peek, I, I, I'm not moving around a lot, but I can kind of, I can hold a button to move, or I can, I can move around on my own, you know what I mean? 
Like, it's not as terrible, it's just, it could have been way better. And that's what people are having a problem with. And I understand that. I just don't think it's as god-awful as people are making it out to be. That's the thing. Whoa, where are we at? Where are we at? And the visuals really aren't that bad either. They're pretty nice. The colors definitely could be better, but I mean, it's got that, I don't know, war-torn feel that we're pretty much used to for games by now. Dark skies, blah, blah, blah. I'm having fun, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, that's what I judge a game for. If I'm having fun shooting and playing around with it, I think it'd be cool. And I think if I got, like, a good co-op partner that you could actually, like, choke around with and talk to, um, it definitely could be fun. Exactly, you know what I mean? They're starting to get all the mechanics down. We're, VR's only getting better. This is definitely not the greatest game on Earth, and it could have been better, but I don't think... It's god-awful. Bob Jones, what's up, butter? Yeah, exactly. The graphics are not as important for some games. It depends on the gameplay. If the gameplay is really, 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 really fun, and it's like a great mechanics, then you don't care about the graphics because you're so damn immersed in the game that you couldn't care what it looks like. Sure, a better-looking game would be nice. Don't get me wrong. No way, this is not better than Farpoint. Farpoint is way better. But this is not terrible, you guys. Exactly, the importance is definitely in the mechanics for VR. Yeah, exactly, hell no. <laughs> yeah, Farpoint is amazing. I feel you, but there's a lot of people that haven't gotten an aim controller yet. So if you think about it, they're getting the bundle if they can't find a Farpoint bundle. And they're really only getting this game for like 20 bucks or whatever it is. That's not really that bad of a deal, to be honest. Exactly. I would just wait for a sale is probably going to be the biggest thing. Foot sensors. Foot sensors are cool. I got them for the Vive. I can put them on my feet. Um, but I have not played around with them as much as you... I th you'd think I would, you know what I mean? Like, I, there's not so many uses for them right now. I think that'd be awesome, but we need a wider field of view on the camera. That's the issue at this point in time. Yeah, the aim controller makes this game damn fun. If you got an aim controller, this is a fun game. Like, I, honestly, it's Time Crisis. It feels very accurate. No, they did a good job, you guys. It's not as terrible as people are making it out to be. If you have an aim controller, it's a fun shooter. It's an arcade shooter. You got like a dope time crisis game in your house. I mean, what else do you want? I know you want way more, don't get me wrong, but that's kind of what they were telling it was, it was gonna be. They never said it was really gonna be free locomotion. Oh, got him. Alright, moving in, moving in. You'll be streaming VRFC. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be streaming some VRFC. I just got the email from Supermassive this morning, or from Sony, and they said they fixed the streaming on this. So I was like, I'll stream a little, and I need to capture some footage, and I mean, I need to work on the review. I was really trying to get a co-op match going, but I guess I'll just have to arrange one for later. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. It's a little harder to justify this one if you just get in the game, but I mean, if you're getting it with the aim bundle, it's not that bad of a deal. <laughs> Recommend. I can't read the whole comment. I'm sorry, buddy. It, sh it cuts it short for me. IA is very easy. What is IA? What is IA? Oh, the AI. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, but sometimes you get a little overwhelmed. You know what I mean? And I am playing on rookie mode, so it's hard to really give you guys a, a definitive answer, but it's just the AI is not that intelligent. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can control her. I believe you can control her and move control her with this one, too. But, I mean, it's really made for the aim, you guys. Like, this is definitely an aim game. And that's what you want. You want that cool, like, awesome, like, arcade shooter. I mean, that's what, that's what I wanted. I thought that there would be a little bit more, like, pathways. You know what I mean? That's what I was hoping for, that there would be a little bit more, like, he could be, like, up a level, and I could be down a level, and, and there was more stuff to that on these. But so far, I mean, it's not the worst. And then you gotta just slowly push up. I can switch guns. I got a pistol too. Pretty useless in this situation. One down. Another one down. Yeah, I cannot wait for Firewall Zero, you guys. That one's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be true, like, 5v5, like... Like, the real deal kind of stuff. Like, I'm very excited for Firewall Zero. That one's gonna be awesome. Shoot. Oh, damn, we're out of ammo. Um, I think if we switch over to this, we'll be fine. Oh, no, there's an ammo. So we just go over to the ammo crate. We'll fill up real quick. Uh-oh. Spaghetti out. Nope, not on my watch, homie. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, move on to the next position. Oh, we got turned around. That's the only thing. You get turned around a little easy. Um, we'll move over there. Brian, what do you think of Bloodborne VR? God, Bloodborne VR would be so awesome. No wonder I can't get a match popping. I know, I know. Sorry, guys. I'm not trying to steal any kind of thunder. We're just playing a little bit. Moss is the most recent must-buy. Yeah, Moss is definitely the most recent must-buy release. You, you gotta get Moss. If, unless you didn't get Sprint Vector. Sprint Vector is pretty damn awesome. It's just a very exercise-based. So uh, if you're not ready for, like, shaking your arms and getting a little bit of a workout, then Sprint Vector might not be the one for you. But it really is, like, an extremely solid, well-built game. I like the cutscenes in this one. They're really well-realized and nice. I did not notice this. Alright, we gotta push forward. I'm working on it, lady. Oh uh, no, homies. Not on my not on Frankie's watch. I'm coming for you. Got him right in the caboose. You got what covered, buddy? See, and you just slowly move forward. Yeah, I do it. I really want Battlefield in VR. Like, flying out of tanks and planes and everything. There's a couple PC games that have, like, Battlefield feel to it, but there's still no real, like, Battlefield in VR. I just can't wait until we have, like, a good, solid... I mean, Honor and Duty's not bad at all, don't get me wrong, but I'm looking forward to when we have, like, that really good, like, 5v5, like, PvP deathmatch-style game, like a Pavlov kind of game. See you tomorrow, buddy. PWVR is fun, too, man. I don't think we've ever played that one on the channel. Yeah, it's not as terrible as some people say, you guys. I don't know why. I mean, I understand that it's getting hate because it's not exactly the game they wanted, but it's not the worst game on Earth. I'm having fun with it. I like the shooting. The one thing that people are pissy about is that, like, how I have to move from cover to cover. But it's not the, it's not terrible. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a little intense when you know people are shooting at you. And you can, like, see the bullets flying and you're running. Yeah, man, I wonder if PS5 is going to launch with, like, updated PlayStation VR. That would probably be the smartest thing on Earth to do. 
I mean, may I don't know, maybe not. Oh shit, there we go. Ah, uh, where the hell are we? Come on, dudes. Come out. Yeah, dude, this is not this is not a must, must, must buy game. I'm probably full review come up. It's probably gonna end up being somewhere like a C. Um, it's not the worst game on planet Earth. I really do hope they add more to it, but it's also not the best game ever. It's it's a it's a fun game. If you got an aim controller, it's definitely I mean it's a good game for the aim controller. A really good game for the aim, but um well, let's go over here. I think this is the way we gotta go. You don't need the aim controller for this game, but it definitely makes it better. I mean, it, it's an aim controller game. Yeah, wireless PSVR would be dope. Banana man, you, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Frankie's eyed. So we hopping. Shoom. New area. Oh. Bad shooting, Frankie. Moving on up to the east side, to the deal, and way more, two hours for the price is no-go for me. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, that's another thing. But the thing is, there's also score attack modes. I mean, you can play co-op, so you can keep going with the score attack modes over and over in co-op if you wanted to, to see who can get the best score, and play with any kind of, like, one of your buddies. Which is a nice option, and a nice little addition. And I've noticed not all reviewers even mention the fact that there was a co-op mode, and, like, a score attack mode. It's definitely not perfect, you guys, at all, in any way, form, or fashion, but it's not as terrible I'm just trying to get across here. It's not the worst game on planet Earth. It's still pretty fun. Thank you, I'm so glad you like the content. Oh, no, I love shooting homies. I mean, okay, I'm having fun, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Donzo. I mean, who doesn't like a nice, like, time crisis feeling shooting gallery? And, I mean, you get to move through the environment. At least it's not just, like, a static thing of enemies coming at you. Loading scene. Another one. Bob Jones, you the greatest, dude. Don't ever stop. You're awesome. Where, oh, damn. Where the hell am I? I don't know. Is he aiming good on this game? Yeah! I think so. I get the reticle lined up pretty well. Moving on up. Gotcha. Boom. Yeah, I don't know if Onward's ever going to come to PlayStation VR or not. Exactly. The environment's very sharp. The visuals are sharp in this one, man. It's just, it's getting tons of hate because it's not exactly what people wanted. I'm standing up, but you can also sit down if you want. Because there is a stand-up button. You're welcome, dude. Dude, that's what Firewall Zero is. It's basically going to be like Counter-Strike in VR to a degree. It's going to be like 5v5 counter Look at that. They're taking selfies. I checked this out. These are those, like, silent kills. These are always kind of cool. Ho! Ho! Secret Asian man. Secret Agent man. Yeah, dude, it, it's not a bad game. It's just getting a pretty bad rap right now. Sneaky, sneaky. We can see, we can sn I could have just gone buck wild and shot everybody right away, or else I could be sneaky, sneaky. Oh, there we go, there we go. Maintain a low profile. No problem, I can handle that. Sneaky, secret, agent Frank. Secret, agent Frank. Oh, see? See, now we got all roots. Look at that. All right, you go that way, I'll go this way. Oh, shit. 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 I don't know. 
I did um, speak to the devs recently, though. Because he hooked me up with the PC version because I just got multiplayer. Um, but I don't know when we're going to get our PSVR version, you guys. Not a good spot. We're moving on up. Does my work suck over my gaming? No, I don't think so, you guys. I try to space myself out pretty well. And I mean, I'm young, you know what I mean? I know that I can I can work hard and game at the same time. I'm pretty good at, like, spacing everything out pretty well. What about audio beats? It's missing. Audio beats. Oh, yeah. I, I guess it didn't hit yet. Exactly. I don't know, you guys. Moving on up. Exactly. Moving on up. To the sandbags to kill us some fresh terrorist. Uh oh. I'm still playing for Infector. I am, and they actually had a new update today where you get two new characters and you get um what's it called? Uh you get two new characters and you also have some like fixes to the gameplay, which are nice. Damn. Oh, Frankie, no! You're down! You guys, I don't think it's the worst game on Earth. I just don't think it's the greatest game on planet Earth. It's not bad. It's really fun with the aim controller. I don't think it's as terrible as everybody's making it out to be. Everybody's just trying to poop all over it. I guess maybe just to, like, because other people are pooping all over it, they're pooping all over it. But I don't know. I hate that, like, sheep mentality. I think some people are really going to enjoy it. I think some people are not going to enjoy it. But I don't think you have to just hate it because it's not exactly what we wanted. Um, it's that whole, I keep saying it's that whole expectations reality thing. Um, and it's really not a bad game if your expectations were in check. Where the heck are we? Come on. We should stay here. Off we go. Oh yeah, it's really great with the aim controller, dude. I'm having so much fun. I've been playing Sprint Vector. It's now my favorite. I know, dude. Sprint Vector is awesome. It's like everybody's favorite. You got to check out the new update today. Yeah, rec Room. Rec Room is nuts. Like, don't even get me started on Rec Room. There's so much to do in Rec Room. It blows my mind. Come on, dude. Go, get in your spot. How much do you aim controller? You can get, I think, the whole bundle for like 60 bucks. You get the game and the aim controller. What's the cost of this game? 40 bucks if you buy it just on its own. <coughs> it's not bad, dude. If you like Time Crisis, you'll like this game. Uh-oh. Phone's ringing. Hold on. You guys got to give Frankie a sec. Hey, hello. It is co-op, so you can play with a buddy. Um, so, like, if you see, like, you see that dude running around with me, that could be a real person. But there's nobody online right now, so it's just Frankie. <laughs> nobody online because there's so much damn hate for the game. Um, yeah, dude, I wish we get um, H3H3 as well. Or not H3H3, whatever it is. Whoops, I probably shouldn't have just started shooting like crazy. Wasn't paying attention. I'm going up this time, dude. You can go that way. Dude, don't go my way. Why you gotta go my way? You're supposed to go the other way. Where the hell? Here we go, here we go. This is what we're looking for. Now we get the shot. Now we got the look. Hi, 
Alright, boss. Oh, shoot. Well, you finish on Spec Ops difficulty. Dude, I could never do it on Spec Ops. You playing on co-op right now? I was trying to play co-op, but there's nobody on, so I'm just playing on AI. Play Spec Ops level. Hell no, dude. I can't even do it on, like, AM level. Because I have to try to, like, pay attention to the comments while I'm, like, playing through. So it makes just general gameplay a little bit more difficult. Moving out. That dude's still over there? No. Oh. These dudes still over here. Moving behind the tank. All right. Oh, damn. I guess you can move forward <laughs> without it. Even worrying. So we're pushing through. I pay a solid 15 bucks for this, nothing more. Yeah, it's not terrible, you guys. All right, how long is the campaign mode for this? People have said if they push through all the way, they can make it in like two hours, so not extremely long. Um, but you can replay with like score attack modes, and there are three different difficulties for the campaign, so it's completely up to you guys. You know what I mean? How much you want to spend time with this or how much you want to do with this game. I think they will update it. I don't think they're ever going to add any like free movement, but I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if they added some kind of multiplayer thing. BJ, that is entirely up to you. I'm just presenting you guys a gameplay, and I'm giving you my take on it. I don't think it's the worst game on Earth. I also don't think it's the greatest game on Earth. And I think it's damn fun with the AIM controller. Uh, graphics are solid, you know what I mean? It's not it's not a bad game. It's just not a great game. Oh, yeah, so definitely not worth the money. It's not worth the full price, probably, unless you... But if you get it with the AIM controller, you're really only getting it for, like, 20 bucks. So I, I think it's definitely worth it there. You know what I mean? You're getting the AIM controller, which is an awesome piece of equipment, and you're getting, like, a fun game, the, a pow-pow game to shoot with it. I mean, it's that's... I'm sold there. Farpoint would definitely better. Yeah, we're doing a review. Don't worry. I'll do, like, a full, like, detailed, like, my usual steel review, but we're just playing through a little bit right now. They fixed the stream and things, so I wanted to show it off to you guys. So we're being all sneaky, sneaky stoss right now. Oops, they saw me real quick. Oh shoot, we got some dudes with some shotties. I know there's tons of negativity about this game, but what are you gonna do? That's just games. Shoot. Later, brother. This is 40 straight up, or it's 60 if you get it with the aim controller. It's 50 in a bundle. Right, exactly. No, 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 I think it's 39.99. I don't believe the game's uh, 49.99. Later, BJ. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool if it did. I personally prefer Pavlov more than Onward. I would like Fallout 4 to come to PlayStation VR, and I think that they could probably, maybe at the end of the day, getting it running better on a console than they can on a PC, because it is not running super well on PC. It's not terrible, but it's not running that well on PC. Oh! Alright, you guys, I got more snot. Terrible game, you guys. It's not the worst game on planet Earth. The environments are pretty darn cool. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not horrible. So don't let everybody... Don't let everybody's opinion, like, listen to everyone's opinion, check out the game for yourself, but know what you're buying. Don't go into it expecting some kind of, like, free locomotion, crazy, like, onward-style shooter, because it's not that. It is co-op, yes, sir, Josh. Uh, co-op for both the story campaign and you can do score attacks in co-op, but it's not terrible. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? All right, we're going to quit to the main menu. 
I'll show you guys kind of what's in the main mandal. It's not the worst game on planet Earth. I mean, it's it's not. It's seriously not. It's like I've played such worse games on PlayStation VR. I've played such worse games on PC VR. I've played such worse flat games. Um, so there's different modes. Like I said, you can play online. You can find a friend. You can do AI partner. AI, if you want, is just you just playing on your own. It's a tutorial. There are also score attacks where you can play uh, your different levels. Bridge, alleyways, plaza. There's still three levels I haven't even showed you guys yet. And we haven't even seen yet, which we're going to see later. Um, you can play the game just straight up campaign you can do like i said the score attack or you can change up your avatar a little there's not too much depth there and um you can do just the like i said co-op ai online all right you guys our buddy uh, what do you think is the worst game for psvr and eh, probably like weeping doll um ghostbusters is probably a letdown too there's a couple of those like movie based ones that pretty much suck um yeah you probably should get more don't get me wrong dude uh, but it's not the worst game like everybody's saying um i would, would say wait for a sale and you'll probably feel happier because you won't spend as much money or if you don't have the aim control you get the bundle it's not that bad but one way or another you guys i gotta go i hope you enjoyed the stream i hope you uh enjoy your playstation vr i hope you get some new games i hope you have a great weekend it's almost friday uh i know i'm happy i hope you guys are happy as well uh as always hit that thumbs up if you would like to and only if you'd like to but more importantly if you want to stay up to date on everything playstation vr and yeah you don't mind this ugly mug friggin subscribe i mean come on no. it's not a it's it, it's not a bad game i'll give you that it's a good game sure it's not it's good you know what i mean but it's not amazing it's not fantastic it's not must buy but it, it's a good game i don't know it's good all right you guys i gotta go I don't know if it'll. I don't know if Hot Dogs, Hot Dogs is gonna come. They want to, cause that dev is awesome. But I have no idea. It'll probably be a while. He's not even done with the PC build yet. All right, you guys, smooches. Gotta go.